Hi all, uh, hope all you are safe. Today we can see the Laplace transform of Dirac delta function. What is Dirac delta function? Uh, this Dirac delta function was introduced by the famous physicist P.A.M. Dirac. He was contributed much in the development of quantum mechanics. The physics students are usually use this Dirac delta function many times. So, uh, what is the physical significance of this Dirac delta function? It is, uh, it can be visualized as a very short pulse. It is uh, infinity at one value and uh, at all other values, it is zero. That means, we can define this Dirac delta function delta x, which is equal to infinity at x equal to zero and or to all other uh, points that is x naught equal to 0 this Dirac delta function becomes 0 okay so uh, in engineering uh, the in the signal processing uh, topics uh, we are using the square wave pulses uh, we can consider a square wave uh, the width of this square pulse is uh, a and height of this pulse is 1 by a so, what will be the area under this pulse? That will be A into 1 by A, that is 1. So, we can call it as a unit impulse. Uh, let, uh, if the width of this pulse, that is A, tends to 0. Okay, limit A tends to 0. What is the function here? F of X, F of X will be the height of this pulse, that is 1 by A. So, F of X equal to 1 by A. If the width of this pulse is equal to 0, then limit a tends to 0, f of x become, this when this a tends to 0, 1 by 0, that is, this becomes infinity. This function is known as Dirac delta function. That is, whenever the width of this pulse turns to 0, then this function uh, comes to this Dirac delta function. Then also, the area of the pulse must be 1. That is here, what is the area of the pulse? A, here into 1 by A, that is 1. So, when this uh, square pulse at the uh, limit, when the width becomes 0, the, then it is um, introducing as the Dirac delta function that is at x equal to 0. At the center point at x equal to 0, this function goes up to infinity and again it comes back to 0. So, then if we consider the area on under on this curve, it is a very short narrow pulse, then, then if we consider the area, that will be equal to 1. So, that is a one of the important property of this delta x, uh, Dirac delta function is that integral delta x dx must be 1. What is the area under the curve that will be the integral. Integral delta x dx is equal to 1. It is mainly used in the signal processing unit and the physics people are uh, used uh, everywhere in quantum mechanics. So, uh, come to the Laplace transform of Dirac delta function. Uh, we can define this uh, Dirac delta function as delta t minus a which is equal to infinity at t equal to a and it is equal to 0 uh, if the t not equal to a. There are so many properties for this Dirac for delta function. We can consider the two functions for deriving this Laplace transform of Dirac delta function. That is integral delta t minus a. That is the area under the Dirac delta function curve. That will be equal to 1. And if we introduce the function along with this Dirac delta function, integral f of t delta t minus a, that is equal to f of a. So, we can consider these two properties. There are so many properties, but we are only taking these two properties for finding the Laplace transform now. Now, uh, here uh, one important condition is that while taking the integral of this function, this a must be within the range of the integration. Otherwise, what will happen if the a is not in the within the integral uh, within the range of integration this integral completely become zero right? so it it is must that this a a must be within this range of integration okay so now come to the point of this laplace transform laplace transform of delta t minus a okay so what is the basic formula zero to infinity e raised to minus st f of t dt what is our f of t here what is our function here Dirac delta function that is delta t minus a dt 
okay so it is equal to from this property if the integral uh, f of t delta t minus a here what will be the function here f of t will be e raised to minus t delta t minus a that is equal to f of a that is f of a madhra this this is f of t that is e raised to minus st at a that is at t equal to a what is that answer e raised to minus Yes. So, what is the Laplace transform of delta t minus a? That will be e raised to minus a s. Okay. If we consider the uh, Laplace transform of a function along with this delta Dirac delta function, that is Laplace transform of this is first one, second one. If we consider the Laplace transform of the function along with the Dirac delta function, delta t minus a, what will be the answer? So, then we can consider integral 0 to infinity e raised to e raised to minus st. What is our function here? f of t delta t minus a into dt. This is a basic definition of the Laplace transform e raised to minus st into our function. What the fun which For which function we have to find out the Laplace transform that function is here. Now according to the property of this Dirac delta function f of t into delta t minus a is f of a. So here a delta t minus a into this completely become f of t that is e raised to minus st f of t at t equal to a. So, at t equal to a means this will become e raised to minus a s. Okay, t is equal to a. So, a is f of a. Okay, so this is the um, Laplace transform of a function with respect with, uh, along with this Dirac delta function. Okay, so uh, based on this we can do some uh, new problems then we will get the idea. That is, we have studied Laplace transform of the Dirac delta function delta t minus a is equal to e raised to minus a s and first next we have studied Laplace transform of f of t delta t minus a is equal to e raised to minus a s f of a. Okay. We can go to some problems. Question 1. Okay. Find the Laplace transform of t raised to 4 delta t minus 2. Okay. How can we find out this Laplace transform? So, according to this uh, formula, Laplace transform of f of t delta t minus a is e raised to minus a s f of a. So, this will become e raised to minus a s f of a with what will be our a here? a is equal to delta t minus 2 that is our f of t is what is our f of t here t raised to 4 what is our a here delta t minus a that is 2 so the answer will become e raised to minus a is 2 minus 2 is f of a what is f of t t raised to 4 so t t raised to 4 so substitute a for t as 2 so 2 raised to 4 so, our answer is 2 raised to 4 is 16 e raised to minus 2 s. Okay. Now, we can to see another problem. Question number 2. Find the Laplace transform of cos t into delta t minus pi. Okay. So, what will be the answer here? This answer will be e raised to minus a s f of a. What is our Laplace transform? e raised to minus a s f of a if the f of t is with this Dirac delta function. So, what is our f of t here? f of t is equal to cos t. What is our a here? Pi. Then we can write this answer as e raised to minus a s that is minus pi s into f of a what is our f of t cos t then substitute this t as a that is cos pi okay so what is the value of cos pi cos pi is minus 1 so our answer will become minus e raised to minus pi by s pi s okay um we can see one more problem question 
question is e raised to minus 5 by t phi t laplace transform of e raised to minus phi t delta t minus 3 okay same way how we, what is our function here f of t is equal to e raised to minus phi t a is delta t minus a so a is equal to 3 so our answer will be e raised to minus a s yes. the laplace transform of f of t delta t minus a is e raised to minus a s yes. f of a that is e raised to minus a is 3 3 s yes f of a what is our f of t e raised to minus 5 t so e raised to minus 5 t substitute it as 3 that is 5 into 3 that is e raised to minus 3 s plus 5 okay so uh, in this way using these formulas we can find out the laplace transform of dirac delta functions okay so this dirac delta function has much physical significance in uh, signal processing study and in the quantum mechanics study in physics okay thank you